Hey guys, welcome back to another quick tip. In this quick tip, I'll be showing you guys three different approaches in mauling knots. First method is brute force. With the brute force method, you're mainly using the curve tool to lay out the points and then use move tool to adjust the points. It's like tying the knot in 3D. The best thing about this method is it's simple but very time consuming. Followed by the artistic method where you'll be mainly using poly strips that you extrude from a plane to create your curve. Using the smart extrude function is quite fast and intuitive. Plus, you can get a clearer sense of how the knot looks like. It's artistic in the sense that you just focus on the shape it's more efficient and doesn't take you out of the modeling flow by requiring you to switch back and forth between tools as much. And finally, the technical method, where you break down the shapes of the knots and combine them together in, as one curve. The technical method might be a little bit more complicated and requires more planning, but the great thing about it is that you are making the tools do the heavy lifting for you. You're only focusing on the shape of the knot instead of how to tie the knot in real life. With this technique, you don't need to know the step-by-step -step of how to create the knot. I stumbled upon a great reference site for creating knots. It's got a large library of knots and how to tie them. I'll include a link in the description. Without further ado, let's get started. The first example we have, it's an overhand knot. What I'm doing is very straightforward. I'm using the curve tool and laying down the points following along the diagram, how the knot would be tied if you're using an actual rope. I'm also using soft selection because it has a nice fall off and makes it easier to adjust a bunch of points. And here I'm just looping the points back and then making it go through the hole. I'm using the add points tool to extend the curve towards the end. The main shape of the knot is pretty much done. Now I'm just reshaping the knot for better look. And now that I'm happy with the shape, I'm going to the menu on top, create, and then sweep mesh to create the rope and then going to the interpolation settings and adjust the precision. So next up, we have the figure eight knot. And now I'm gonna show you an example where I'm using the artistic method to create the knot. As you can see, I'm starting off with a plane and then select the edge and hold shift plus left click to extrude the shape out. The nice thing about this method is that you can easily add more segments by smart extruding. If I ever need more segments, I can just simply insert edge loop in any of the sections.
here I'm just continuing shaping the knot and extending it as I go. Without the worry of having not enough segments. If you find that certain section is too rigid, you can simply select the edge and just use Edit Edge Flow to make it more round and smooth. Here I'm just using the Move tool to adjust the shape of the knot and tightening it. I hit 3 for the smooth preview so get, I get a s smoother result. And I'm just continuing moving edges to make the knot less flat and more rounded. Now that I have the main shape of the knot created, I'm going to change to the multi-cut tool. Hold on to control and then middle click to add the center edge. Once you have the center edge, you can go up to the modify menu and under convert, go to poly convert poly edges to curve. Like the last example, just simply select the curve and go to create and add the sweep mesh modifier. And then just simply tweak the settings of the scale, profile, and the segments. In this example, we're doing the adjustable grip hitch. And there you have it, a figure eight knot. I've broken down the knot into four main sections. The red section, is the noose where it's connected to the carabiner and the green section is the knot section which is shaped like a spiral and the blue is the working end of the rope that's wrapped around and finally we have the yellow which is the straight section of the rope the other end so first i'm going to start with the noose section first select the three point arc tool you can also find the three point arc tool under create and then curve tools go to the side view and lay down the three main points shift the arc over 
to the position of the care body. Then switch into CV mode and select the two ends and scale it in to reshape the noose. Next, I'm gonna use the extend curve tool to extend the noose. Make sure to have the both checked on at the extend curve end. Once the curve is extended, just reshape the ends. Moving on to the green section where the rope wraps around several times. To achieve the look, we can make use of the Create Spiral Curve tool from the bonus tools. If you don't have bonus tools, you can create a helix and then just select the edge loop and convert it into a curve. With the spiral selected, reposition it to where the noose is. Since the spiral is turning in the wrong direction, simply just select the spiral and then scale it negatively to get it to spin the opposite way. Curve the end of the spiral inwards. Do the same thing on the other end. Take this section and move it up. Then scale it inwards. And here I'm just extending the curve to get the blue section. When you're extending the curve, make sure you're in object mode or it won't work. To make it more believable, take the short end of the rope, extend it a bit, and make it curved, so that it feels like that there's gravity. After this, I'm going to rebuild the curve to get more equidistant points. I'm using extend curve again, but this time I'm extending the other end of the rope so I can connect it back to the noose. I'm just moving this point so that it's closer to the noose for better connection. Here you see me reversing the curve of the news so that when I attach both of the curves, it won't flip.
I'm extending this section of the curve to get the straight end of the rope. And finally, we're connecting it all together by attaching the curves. We're gonna rebuild the curve once more, so that we get nicer segments on the rope once the sweep mesh is created. Last but not least, add a sweep mesh to the curve. Pretty much the same ordeal as last time, adjust the scale profile and the segments till it looks good. If you want to make more adjustments to the knot, you can go into X-ray mode and then check off the mesh filter in the selection options and then you can just adjust the curve. Here I'm just fixing the two loops by reversing the position. The procedural nature of the sweep mesh makes it easier to adjust things without breaking UVs or edges. By now, you should have a good sense of how to approach modeling knots with efficiency. And I hope that you have learned several new tools along the way and add to your arsenal. This is the end of the quick tip. Thanks for watching and please hit the like and subscribe button for more quality content. And don't forget to check out my Gumroad page and ArtStation store.